All right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm doing a what the girls got for Christmas video. So we have a four-year-old, almost five, which is insane. She turns five in May. And then we have a one-year-old who just turned one. So that is the age of my girls. I am really excited for Christmas this year because Gracelyn finally, Gracelyn's my four-year-old, she finally understands Christmas and she's been asking for things. Um, she's just so cute. Like every day she's like, I want this for Christmas and we made a Christmas list and she just understands it now and she's gonna be, oh my God, she's gonna be so excited on Christmas. And Hazel on the other hand, she is only one so she doesn't get it. She gets it more than last year because last year she was literally like a couple months old. Um, but at least she'll have fun unwrapping this stuff. So keep in mind, uh, she did just have her birthday. So she got tons of stuff for her birthday. Um, she already had a lot of stuff, just you know, hand-me-down toys from Graceland and all that. That I held on to so Hazel has every toy um, out there available for a baby so it was a little bit difficult shopping for her but then I also remembered that she is one and she does not notice or care or really understand it um, but I did get her some cool things so we're just gonna get straight to it so all of these gifts I'm gonna show are from Patrick and I this is stuff that we got them um, and then Santa usually will bring one or two things. So Gracelyn, her top gift that she's asking for is a new Barbie house. And she's really hopeful that she's going to get one. And I am very hopeful too that she's going to get a Barbie house. So if she were to get a Barbie house, I think it would be something like this. I'm gonna uh, insert a picture right here. <laughs> that is one thing that she's asking for from Santa. Um, that she's really hopeful that she'll get. <laughs> I'm gonna try and remember the prices of everything because I did get some good deals on this stuff. Graceland is obsessed with Barbie. That is like her number one um, thing that she's really into lately. I will say one of the first things that I got for both of the girls to share, um, Hazel's probably not gonna understand it as much, but as she gets older, they can share it, is the Melissa and Doug grocery store thingy. Um, I actually got that on sale. I will insert what that looks like right here. It's actually in our garage uh, because I can't really store it anywhere else other than the garage, it's covered up. But it's super cool. It's like an actual grocery store with like a conveyor belt thing and a register and then there's like shelves where you can store all the groceries. So it is originally $230 and last year actually, like sometime around, or maybe it was early this year, they had a really good sale on them at Target and I got it for $89, $89. So I just knew as soon as they were having that sale, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get that for them. Especially Gracelyn, she is going to love it. She loves to play grocery store she loves to play pretend and it's gonna be a really good thing for both of them um, to be able to play with so the first thing for Graceland is this Barbie ocean view boat so it comes with a little boat and a bunch of different accessories this is originally $30 and I scored this on sale at Target for I believe it was like 22 and then I had a coupon so it came to like 18 bucks probably her second top most wanted item on her Christmas list that she begged me for every time we went to the store she's gonna lose her mind over this so I got her <laughs> the Barbie um, dream plane it's called it is freaking huge this thing is like really big so I got a really good okay I just dropped it but I got a really good deal on this from Walmart actually it's originally $65 which is oh my gosh it's so insane this Barbie stuff is so expensive like holy moly if you have Barbie stuff hold on to it and when your kid gets like sick of it resell that stuff because you can make some of your money back <laughs> because the Barbie stuff is insanely insanely priced gosh they probably make tons of money but anyways um, originally 65 and Walmart was like I was searching every day for a Barbie dream plane and seeing if I could find a good deal because I just I could not pay that much for this thing and randomly one day on walmart.com it was $45 so I got it for $45 which is insane with shipping so that was a pretty good savings the next item I have is this our generation dowel from target so it's like kind of a knockoff brand of american dowel i loved american dowel when i was a little girl i also loved barbies it's just really cool to see my own kid um 
enjoy the things that I used to love so much and I understand why she loves them because it's just really fun to play with these kind of things. But she's been getting into, or at least when we're at the store, she says she wants these and she's really interested in the aisle. So um, they had a really good deal at Target. It was buy one, get one half off for the R Generation stuff, which that stuff really never goes on sale. And it's also very pricey for this stuff. Not as pricey as American Dell, but it is still pricey. So I got her this um cute little doll see they make these to kind of mimic like what you look like you don't have to get one that looks like you but i know when i was younger i had the american doll that looked like me um my mom actually got her one that looks more like graceland than this one does but we also got her other ones to kind of just go with her doll that looks like her you don't have to do that but i think it's just like a cool little part of them but this one, I really wanted to get it for her because she is Cindy Lee. She is the ballet dancer doll. So she just comes with like a tutu and all the like dancing accessories. I think it comes with a book, shoes, an extra outfit, a dance bag. I thought this was really cute. And Gracelyn loves to dance. She loves to dance and sing. So I thought that she would really enjoy this doll. I actually, once like the COVID is over and all that, I really wanna see if she would be interested. I'm gonna offer it to her if she wants to go like do dance uh, lessons or dance classes or singing or gymnastics or something like that. I feel like she would really enjoy that. And now that she's getting older, I feel like she might be ready for something like that. So we'll see. I'm not gonna you know force her to do it, but I'm gonna throw it out there if she is interested in doing it. And then I don't even know if I can pick this up. <laughs> so part of the buy one, get one um, half off deal from Target, I got, <laughs> I need to get up to get this, hold on. She loves ambulances and she likes playing doctor and pretending to be a doctor and all that. So we got this giant ambulance right here with tons, tons and tons of accessories in there. And it is like a legitimate um, ambulance it has like it has a steering wheel the buttons inside like on the dash oh my god the windshield wipers work are you kidding me that is freaking insane it has a horn and then it has also the sirens it's like a real life freaking ambulance i cannot get these to turn off i don't know how to get them to turn off yeah they're taped shut but they do open and there's like actual cabinets up in here like that you put your medical equipment in. So this thing is ginormous. Um, let me set it down because it's like breaking my shoulders, but she's absolutely going to love it and have a blast. Um, when I saw that, I was like, I have to get it. So actually I have the receipt. So the ambulance was originally 129, the doll was 36, but then they had a sale on the ambulance. So the ambulance was on sale for 109 and then I got half off of the doll. So it came to like, it came to like 127 for both of those items. I got her this um, Frozen Anna doll from Walmart. I also got her an Elsa doll. She did something the other day where I told her she could get a surprise. I was very proud of her. So I pulled out her Elsa doll early and I gave it to her, but I got her two of the Frozen dolls um, from Walmart. Those were eight bucks each. This was something really cool that me and Patrick had found um, at Walmart randomly one day when we were shopping for Christmas lights. It is this urban color changing earth light. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a night light. Graceland's really into the earth. She loves like space. She loves going on Google Earth and like playing on there on her iPad. She just loves it. So we thought she would enjoy this and she's been having some trouble um, at night lately. So hopefully a little cool night light will help her out. This earth light was $9.99 at Walmart. And then also to kind of go along with sleeping but having some trouble sleeping. So I decided to get her this children's alarm clock. Mainly her issue is that like she's waking up when she shouldn't be like in the middle of the night and she's not wanting to go back to bed. An alarm clock, it is a night light. It is a sleep sound machine. It has a wake up light and a sleep timer. So basically, as you can see right here, it shows like the moon and that it's dark and there's stars. So that is when they're supposed to be sleeping and then you can actually set it to whatever time that they wake up the alarm clock will have like a sun come out and then it will glow like a different color so that they know that it's time to wake up. 
Graceland knows that when the sun isn't out that she's not supposed to be up, but she doesn't necessarily listen. <laughs> so we're just trying to find more fun, creative ways to get her to stay asleep at night and stay in her bed. Um, Cause we're really like struggling in that category. And I read a lot of good things about, like I've read a lot of good reviews about this on Amazon. So hopefully <laughs> this will work. It's $38.99 right now on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I paid like $30 for it on Black Friday. I did also get these two behavior books on Amazon as well. I think they were like five bucks each. They have a lot of really good books on there. Um, so I will try and have links for everything. Actually, I can, I'm pretty sure I can link all of this stuff because all of this is able to be found at like main stores like Target, Walmart, Amazon. So I got her one called I'm Feeling Mad, just trying to help her with her emotions a little bit better. This is actually like Danielle the Tiger book, just about feeling mad and what you can do like when you're mad. And then we got her one called Hands Are Not For Hitting. Pretty self-explanatory there. So for Grace and Stocking, we get her stuff and then Santa will leave, you know, some stuff in there as well. I found her this pack of Betsy Johnson socks for $3.99 from Burlington. They're just fuzzy socks. She loves fuzzy socks. A pack of underwear, five pack for $5.99. And then she's really into Frozen, like I had mentioned. So she loves getting into my lip gloss and like my lip stuff. And I'm honestly sick of it. So I got her her own. It's like a five piece uh, lip balm set in like a case that you can put the lip balm in. It was $4.98. And then I also found this cute brush set. It comes with like a bow. This brush set was $3. I went to Walmart for stocking stuffers because Target, honestly, like their selection, maybe they were like getting new stuff in at the time that I went. I really don't like to get too much junk stuff to put in the stockings. Obviously junk is like fun for them. So some of the things but I didn't want too much of that and I feel like Target really didn't have good selections um, so I went to Walmart and I did find some good stuff they had a lot of frozen stuff and she likes that right now unicorn loofah three bucks for this for the shower this little Ryan dude uh, off of YouTube it's a scented fun fizzer it's like a bath bomb it was three bucks for this I think she likes to watch his stuff sometimes. I got her these really cute scrunchies. Look at how cute these are. They're like tiny little scrunchies for kids. These are actually on sale. They're originally $5, but I got them for, I think $2.50 each. So I just got her two packs from Target. Another like Ryan's World thingy. It is a um, mini mystery box. This was $3 for this mystery box. I got her a stress man. Um, so basically it's just like a little squeezy thing for stress this is cool it was 98 cents it's like a little um light up you can't tell but it's like a little light up unicorn necklace and then i just got a little light up ball this is what i would consider junk this was 98 cents as well and then this was 198 it's like a little ball catch toy so you just you know catch the ball this stuff will get lost or broke like within a day so I don't like to get too much of it. I actually got both the girls um, water bottles, but I found these at Burlington and they were $3.99. They're just like these cute little water bottles for Graceland's. I got her this one with butterflies on it and they just kind of work like this. They pop up and there's like a silicone straw. They also have a neat little um, string to hold it with. Santa usually brings the candy, the goodies, and some other stuff to fill in their stockings. So then for Miss Hazel, like I said, I had a really hard time at getting her stuff or figuring out what to get her because she legitimately has everything. But one thing I really wanted to get her, and it was a little bit pricey, but I feel like it was worth it because this is honestly like one of the very few things that she got, um, was this Playtime Climber. I got this off of Amazon and it is in this box right here, this big box. I'm obviously not going to open it, but I will insert a picture. So it's just a little like climber, foam mat climber thing for toddlers. And I felt like this would be really nice for her because she doesn't have anything like this. And I don't want to just get her a bunch of toys that she's not going to play with. And I'm already trying to declutter the toys. I wanted to get her something that more so like encouraged her to play and like is good for gross motor skills 
and all of that stuff. So I'm really excited about this. For this one, it was 119. I got her like the blue shade color. Um, it was 119. And then another thing I got Hazel, which is coming in the mail. I will insert a picture on the screen, but it is a little Coco Melon plush. I got it off of Amazon for like $13. I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff like plush, but let me tell you about these freaking Coco Melon toys. Coco Melon is like a kid show where they sing like nursery rhymes and stuff. And Hazel absolutely loves it. That is her new favorite show. I mean, what baby doesn't love that show? And the Coco Melon toys, they make them, but they're all sold out at like Target and Walmart and Amazon. So people are literally buying them like when they are in stock and then reselling them for a ridiculous amount of money. Like the little doctor kit, I think is like originally $19 and people are selling it for like 50 or 60 bucks and making huge profit off of this, which like whatever do you, I guess. But I'm just, I was just trying to find my baby like a Coco Melon toy and I'm not going to pay that much for one. So I did find that little plush doll on Amazon. I just figure it was something that I know she likes and she gets really freaking excited when she sees JJ. Actually, every time we turn on Coco Melon, she goes, baby, baby and she gets really happy. And then from Walmart, I found this really cute little Fisher Price, little Snoopy like pool dog. So you just walk it around. This is something that she actually doesn't have. She doesn't have something that you like walk around. And Hazel really is walking now. Like she is full fledged walking. She's freaking learning to run honestly at this point. Like she tried to run the other day and she face planted. I felt so bad, but it was like funny because she actually was running from me. Like I was like, Hazel get back here. And like she started to like run. I was like, oh my goodness, no, not yet. But this like wiggles as it walks. And yeah, it's just a fun little cute toy for her to pull around while she's walking. Pretty sure it was like $7.99. When I saw this online, I saw the picture on Amazon, I thought it was gonna be this big table like where she could stand at and draw, but like it literally came in this tiny little box. So apparently you can stand it up, but like you have to sit down and do it. I don't know. I mean, this says it's for ages three and up, but I feel like she can still like just doodle with it and do whatever. Um, Cause Grayson already has like something like this and Hazel likes to draw on it. So I really genuinely thought this was gonna be something that she could stand at and draw on, but it's not. But I mean like whatever, it was, it was 10 bucks. So it's not a big deal, but we already have like several of these little draw tablets. We have like two of them. And the only reason I got it is because I thought it was gonna be like a table that Hazel could stand at and doodle. But um, it's not, but this was off of Amazon, like I said, and it was, $10 on Black Friday. I got her this book set also off of Amazon. So this is a lift the flap um, four piece book set. It comes with animals, first words, things that go, I guess it's just about like trains and trucks and stuff and then colors. So these are just like thick, sturdy, lift the flat books. Hazel loves this lift the flat book that we have for her. Um, fun fact, every lift the flat book we have is destroyed because when Graceland was like two, she had a thing with like ripping the pages off the lift the flat books. So none of them have the flaps anymore. They're just destroyed, but I just have a hard time letting them go. But there's really no fun in the book when they don't have the flaps, when they're meant to have the flaps. So I do have this one book that Graceland didn't destroy. It's actually this like peekaboo book um, where like you like open the page and the peekaboo, you say peekaboo and like it shows the thing. And Hazel loves that book. She cracks up and she actually goes up to her little shelf and grabs it every night before we go to bed and we read it. So I figured she would like these Lift the Flat books um, because she loves that book. So hopefully she likes these and we can have some fun. Um, and also learn when reading those. For Hazel's stockings, I've, I might get a couple more things for her stocking, or maybe, you know, Santa will bring her some stuff. I got her her own little piggy loofah, so just like Graceland's, but hers is a pig. I got her the water bottle, like I said, from Burlington, $3.99. Hers just has like flowers and cute little ladybugs all over it. She actually, always wants to drink out of Graceland's water bottles. She's constantly like not wanting her cup. She drinks out of like the Munchkin 360 cups. Um, she has never drank out of a bottle or a sippy cup. We just went straight to a cup. She either drinks out of like an open cup or the Munchkin cups, but she always goes up to Graceland and like tries to steal her water bottle and drink it. So 
Figured I'd just get the girl her own water bottle so she would stop, even though she'll probably still steal Graceland's because I mean, that's what kids do. I also got her her own little flashing ball. She's got hers in blue. And then I, oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, I forgot to show this with Graceland's because it was under the chair, but I did get them each their own new toothbrushes. So for Graceland's, this was $1.99 and it is just a Barbie toothbrush set. So it comes with a Barbie cup, the toothbrush, and then it comes with like a little toothbrush cap to protect it. And then for Hazel, I found this two pack of these cute little like suction cup toothbrushes. Also comes with a cap to protect it. And then it comes with floss. My Hazel girl, she loves her little yogurt melts. These are like her favorite. She loves her yogi. We call them yogi melts. <laughs> um, but I just got her the strawberry flavor from Gerber. So that is literally um, all I got for Hazel. She's just a baby and she literally has everything the girl could possibly need. Plus you guys, our family, I have told my family just not to go ham. I know my mom is like holding back a lot this year, but they will get tons of gifts from the family. I actually had told Patrick's mom, uh, she asked what Hazel wanted and I had told her like she could get her a new water table for the summer. And then also like Graceland's gonna be getting probably some more Barbie stuff. And there's just stuff that they're gonna get from family members as well. So I don't wanna overdo it like at home and from Santa because we have tons of family members that are gonna be getting them gifts. Also, I was just taking a thumbnail and the video and I was taking a thumbnail. I also ended up bringing the Melissa and Doug thing in inside so I could um, include it in the thumbnail. Patrick had specifically bought this for Graceland. He didn't even tell me he was getting this, he just got it. So Graceland loves to vlog. She loves to vlog. She always is constantly wanting my camera, constantly wanting to make videos. Even when I'm not vlogging, she likes to pretend that she's vlogging. She likes to watch um, like kids her age on YouTube. So I think, yes, because I do vlog, <laughs> I haven't vlogged as much lately, um, but I think it's because a lot of it is because of like the kids she watches on YouTube um, that kind of has her wanting to vlog. So Patrick got her <laughs> this little kid's camera off of Amazon. It comes with a case, as you can see, and it's like a little go to, GoPro, GoTo, <laughs> GoPro type camera. It comes with a protective case, just like the GoPro. And then it looks like this. So freaking cute. It's like her own little camera. So not that like she's gonna like make vlogs and they're gonna be posted to YouTube. It's just really for fun because she likes to pretend to vlog. So now she can actually make her own little vlogs and watch them back if she wants. And maybe I'll include them in my vlogs. Um, I'll have to ask her and see, you know, if she wants that. But yeah, it came with all this cool stuff. Um, for recording, I think there's like a tripod and like a strap for the camera. Like I said, there's a protective, like a protective water case. There's a little thing that you can tie around your wrist. He got this off Amazon and I'm pretty sure it was like super inexpensive for what it was. I think the camera is 1080, the resolution. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to find the Amazon link for this and I'll have it linked down below. I wanna say he paid anywhere from 60 to $90 for this. I can't remember, but she's gonna freaking love this. <laughs> she's gonna be so excited. Patrick just really thought that she would like this, so he went ahead and he just got this for her. That's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I will have all of the links for everything down below, so if you guys wanna go ahead and shop those. Amazon, if you have Prime, most of this stuff is gonna ship in two days, so don't worry if you're last minute or if you feel like you're behind. Just Amazon Prime, that shit, girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure that you are subscribed to me and turn on the notifications for all videos so that you get notified for every single video of mine. I will see you in the next video. Bye.